Chris Walker, your security doctor, back again with another exciting SecBite session. Now, today's theme is brought to you by My Pocket Protector and, of course, ServiceNow. With ServiceNow, we want to find different ways to innovate, understand, and protect your assets using enterprise usability and, of course, security operations. Now, in today's demonstration, we're going to be discussing how the Now platform can connect your information handlers, your analysts, your threat hunters, and even your security leaders to leverage the MITRE ATT&CK module, which allows you to track various adversarial techniques leveraged in different stages of a cyber attack. So let's go ahead and get right into our agenda for today's topics. First and foremost, we're gonna be talking about what is MITRE ATT&CK. Roles required, which we'll be going through the demonstration. Third, we're gonna be talking about associating those MITRE ATT&CK techniques to understand how we can actually associate that information to an existing security incident record. We're also going to be looking at how we can create the auto extraction rule for those base seam integrations. Lastly, we'll look at MITRE ATT&CK properties. This is going to cover a couple of different areas where we have some of those things turned on by default and other areas where we can actually turn on some of the automatic roll up of MITRE ATT&CK information or that data, which can then be posted or appended to those security incidents based on observables or alerts or different sources. So let's go ahead and get after it. So let's quickly define MITRE ATT&CK. As you can see here, got it popped up on my screen so it's easy to read. But now let's understand how this framework can help your organization or your business. Now, the MITRE ATT&CK framework is based on understanding these behaviors and techniques that hackers are using against your organization today. So it's not only removing the guesswork, but it's understanding and really coming up with a proprietary solution of common vocabulary so that you and I can understand and discuss as well as collaborate on how we combat these different adversary methods. But more specifically, how do we apply this to our security teams and other teams alike so that we can really hone down into proper detection, coverage, mapping our alert rules, but most importantly, understand how we track the progression of those detection rules and also making sure we evaluate our current defenses. So by leveraging MITRE ATT&CK framework, we can track these different attacker groups. Very similarly to how Kevin McAllister was tracking those robbers in the Home Alone series, one of my favorite movies, because it really speaks candidly to how we can create a cohesive relationship with the MITRE ATT&CK framework and establish better detection coverage, rules, mitigation, and understand how you have a security plan, or in this case, your battle plan to protect your assets, to protect your users and the integrity of that data. It's so important to understand not only the user, but the behavior analytics behind the scenes that these hackers are using to exploit, weaponize and take advantage of, which then of course means data reputation has gone out the door where we could have prevented these measures by using simple mechanics and mechanisms to protect us against all attack vectors equally. So with that, let's go ahead and get right into today's demonstration around security incident records, leveraging the MITRE ATT&CK framework methodology. All right, we are back. We are in my instance. For the purposes of the demonstration, I am actually using the San Diego release. This is the latest release that has just come out. And I am playing the persona of a security analyst. So in terms of the roles that are required here, you will need the SN underscore SI dot analyst role in order to view the security incident record and perform these series of operations, which will be pretty quickly uh, done and accomplished here. So as we can see here, we are in my security incident record. I'm gonna go ahead and associate MITRE ATT&CK information with the observables that we've captured. So to simply do that, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom. Clicking on show all related lists, this is just going to, again, open up all the different tabs that are available in this form. As you can see here, that's already been done. And then I'm gonna click on the associated observables. Now, as the security analyst, I need to understand which of these observables have been identified as either malicious or some other type. In this case, I already know which one has been investigated since I am that threat hunter. And I can see here that this particular IP address has actually been deemed as a malicious type of um, data set. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and right click on set observable. And you'll notice that I have an associate MITRE ATT&CK technique option. Clicking this will bring up a dialog box, prompting me to select something specific, in this case, the source. 
the tactic, and then the series of different techniques. Now, as I mentioned before in the beginning of the presentation, we can select multiple tactics, and we can obviously associate multiple techniques to a single tactic. So this is a great way, again, to build out your battle plan, right? Just as we mentioned before, with Kevin McAllister building out his battle plan, this allows us to build out that battle plan, so then we can see what these associated observables are tied to as it pertains to the tactic, to the technique. So then we have procedural steps to take actions and preventative measures to further safeguard our users and our datas and all of those entities. So to show you very quickly here, I've selected the source of enterprise attack, my tactic. I'm gonna add an additional tactic here and I'm gonna add one for privilege escalation. Now, as I mentioned before, this was a phishing security incident record. So there may be some type of privilege escalation that was uh, prioritized in terms of the hacker's eyes. So as you can see here, we have a number of different techniques that could be associated with this particular tactic. Again, there are so many different techniques that can be associated with these tactics, but this allows you as the analyst to understand how we can start to prioritize and mitigate these issues by having everything mapped out through that heat map navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and select a random one here just to showcase how easy it is to map and associate this information to the security incident record. In this case, we're going to associate MITRE ATT&CK techniques to the observable that we've selected. So now that we have that done, we'll go ahead and click save. Now the action that's gonna take here is it's going to go ahead and append this information to the observable, mapping and associating this MITRE ATT&CK information. It's gonna reload my security incident record. And now what I'm able to do as the security analyst is go through and actually see those particular MITRE ATT&CK techniques that have been mapped to this particular security incident record based on the observable that we just updated. So as we can see here, down below, I have a couple of different tabs. We have incident details, related records, but the priority is to look at the MITRE ATT&CK card. Now, as the threat hunter and the analyst, I can see that we have a couple of areas of concern. We have several different techniques for initial access that have been identified with specific techniques and of course tactics that are taken in order to obtain or gather said information. We have two around defensive evasion and then two around reconnaissance. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I went ahead and manually added and associated this information, and we can distinguish that we're here within the platform. We can also see that we also can leverage SIM tools that provide this information to automatically roll up, and then of course, append the information to this particular security incident record. We can also show the technique ID, which is a great value add because now I can actually start to prioritize, prevent, and measure how well I'm actually detecting and covering these specific areas of concern based on the technique, based on those tactics, and being able to actually streamline a process to look at these different technique IDs in a much more global kind of visible view. So this is a great way to start prioritizing what's most important and what are the areas that we need to be very hyper-focused on as it pertains to the entire MITRE ATT&CK framework, and of course your organization's abilities to prevent some of these different attacks, these techniques that are actually being posed as a threat with an actual process, a plan, and a procedure. So this is a really great use case and a great area that you can start to leverage right out of the box today. All right, we're back again to cover the last two topics for today's demonstration. Now, going back to our security incident record, what we were able to showcase was the ability to manually add and associate MITRE ATT&CK information, such as the tactic and the technique. Well, that's cool and all, but I wanna automate this stuff. So let's go ahead and showcase how we can simply automate that through technique extraction rules. So as you can see here on my screen, I'm looking at a couple of different extraction rules that have already been predefined because we're using base seam integrations that natively support the ability to parse the payload, in this case, the raw payload that's coming from these SIM tools. Now, that's not to say we can't pull and associate MITRE information from your threat intelligence feeds or those tools. We absolutely can do that. Again, as long as the vendor or the provider has the capabilities to parse this information, we can absolutely gather that MITRE ATT&CK technique as well as the tactic, and then of course roll that up into your security incident records based on a series of ways, either that's through a rule or through a threat lookup or through a child security incident and a number of other methodologies. But to keep it pretty simple, let's go ahead and just walk you through the MITRE ATT&CK technique extraction rule framework. So as we can see here, we have a couple of different rules. 
We have one that is actually going to be specific for our Splunk integration. This is what we call our seam extraction rule. So this one is already conditioned and it's predefined. It's going through the right areas that we need to pull this information in terms of extracting that through a regular expression method. And then of course, it's going to then roll this information up to then extract that technique. And of course, write those records to the import table. Then from there, roll that up into security incident records based on our detection rules. So we have this one already pre-configured. But what if I wanted to pull this information from a global perspective, right? From all my threat intelligence integrations. So let's go ahead and look at what that would look like here. So in this methodology, what I'm doing here is when any of these threat intelligence integrations have been configured uh, within your ServiceNow instance and they support the MITRE ATT&CK framework, we can now parse that information at the integration level. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this test. Here I have my rule type threat lookup, and now I'm gonna select the global engine setting. Now, when we use this, this is the extraction that runs on all threat lookup integration results. So not just the one, but all the integration results that you have in here. So now that we have that all set up and populated, we can add our description, our comments, and then of course at any time, we can go ahead and change out the regular expression uh, extractions or tactics, but these have already been predefined and we can go ahead and start to use this right away. Last but not least, ignoring auto extraction. We know what that does. It'll obviously ignore it. So by default, that is unchecked because we want to go ahead and enable the automatic extraction of the MITRE ATT&CK techniques. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and hit submit and our rule will be ready to run. Now from there, we need to set up our detection rules. This is how we map and associate those techniques to the security incident records. So in this particular use case, I have a phishing rule and I've gone ahead and I've configured the specific tactics and techniques that I wanna have associated to said security incident. Now you can also see that I can pull this from a specific source. I could also set this up through an alert sensor. So there could be some type of sensor that I wanna report on this. Or in this case, I wanna go ahead and say, if this is in the phishing um, use case, let's go ahead and map that based on the phishing category. Now that I've mapped that appropriately, when we go back, right and we rolled up and enabled that property we're able to now see the security incident count so when we go back to our security incident record and we can see the category is phishing what will happen once we've enabled the property our mitre attack properties which is the last topic for today we'll actually see this number populated as a one now chris how do i do that well pretty simple we go to our mitre attack properties now this can be found in the application navigator here i can see all of the different areas that can be enabled now by default, not all of these are enabled and I'll populate a link in here within the description so you can see what each of these different components do. But in this particular use case, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we roll up the information either from the threat lookup results or in this case, based on our detection rules. So by enabling this property, we can map the security incident fields such as category, subcategory, based on our detection rules, and it clearly distinguishes and identifies detection rules, MITRE ATT&CK mapping, which we were just in. So now we can roll up the information, we can see which security incidents in that count, and we can see exactly what technique and tactic it's being mapped to, which of course will then produce our MITRE ATT&CK heat map and navigator. This is your Kevin McAllister home improvement battle plan. Now I can protect what I see. I understand my coverage, my mitigation. I can take next steps to be more preventative and proactive to start to increase my coverage as well as how I'm going to mitigate and remediate some of the issues that might fall between the cracks. So with that, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to go through this MITRE ATT&CK demonstration. Stay tuned for more content coming from Chris Walker, your security doctor, and as always, stay safe.